Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I'm gonna change the bezel insert on this Seiko SKS. I got the Seiko SKS used in excellent condition, but with the aftermarket bezel insert. And how do you tell the aftermarket bezel insert from the correct one? Well, just click, take a look at the number 10 here, and uh, here you can see the difference. And I ordered um bezel insert the correct one uh, the seiko bezel insert and you can see the difference here in number 10 so just a little strike here for the 10 and not uh, this here notch on number 10 so uh, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna attempt to um replace this bezel inserts uh, i know some of you guys like modding i do not very much but maybe i will start however i prefer original stuff uh, with the cars and everything else i prefer to keep it original so i'm gonna attempt to um, change the bezel here i have a seiko uh, bezel insert and uh, this one is nice and correct so uh yeah firstly you need to pop off the bezel uh, i did a video on how to remove the seiko bezel so you can cross reference that one uh, find it uh, you will need a knife not so sharp preferably a dull knife something cloth down there so you will find a notch under there underneath the bezel and uh, take it slowly take it slowly um, I'm gonna attempt to tr do this through the viewfinder which is not so smart but yeah so you have this here so we have a notch I'm gonna take it off the camera so I cannot do this through the viewfinder but I'm gonna just pry it off Again, you can find a video how to remove a bezel from a Seiko SKS uh, ADC gunner. And you go from there. I'm just gonna pry this thing off here. So you can see. Real gentle, real careful not to scratch anything because we don't like scratches so here we have a bezel and we're gonna replace the insert so we're gonna need this let me just quickly show you what you have here what you're working with and this one here there's a little wire here bezel wire that's uh you i'm not gonna touch it it's pretty clean usually if it's not clean i clean it so now we're gonna take the bezel and i'm gonna replace it remove the watch here This is the bezel, and uh, down there uh, you will find this insert. So there's a lot of videos on how to do it, but this is just how I do it. Uh, here you have a gasket, bezel gasket ring that you need to do, which is very, uh, it's nice and lubricated itself. It's a, uh, someone has put a silicon grease in it, so it's very nice. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna slowly try to pop off the bezel. So I never done this before really, so um, this is a learning curve for me as well. And I uh, just put my fingernail around this ring, 
let's gently go around it trying to this is uh, popped in or glowed in I don't know I think it has a little bit of a belt pressure fit and a little bit of a glue for a good measure and you can already see it's moving giving it way and remember guys I'm not a professional watchmaker all the serious stuff I give it to my watchmaker uh, but uh, so I, I find this really neat job little and uh, here we have a bezel insert that's not genuine there, there was a little bit of a glue inside but not much at all I don't know what kind of glue it is but I think it will be enough for this one so now it's a simple step you take the old bezel the new bezel and you just pop it in and uh, keep this one in case there is a, a find some diver that you need Paired some Loctite in here, and uh, there's not much difference uh, between these bezels, uh, but I like to have the correct look. So I prepared some Loctite here in case I need it, but there's some kind of a sticky thing here on this bezel, so I'm gonna just use that. I'm gonna go with that. Uh, so I'm gonna put this bezel inside Let's see if it fits so you can move it a little bit so it's a perfect fit and there's a little bit of a sticky thing down there so it won't dance around if it somehow starts to dance around uh, I will I will remove it and put some Loctite but I didn't want to put any glue in there because I don't want to make a mess so yeah now we have a tank or just simply pop in the basil insert out in there I just want to make sure will it move No, it won't. It's nice. So yeah. And look at that. It's perfectly aligned now. It's very nicely aligned. Now you need to pressure fit this basil insert uh, a little bit. So now when it's pressure fitted a little bit, uh, what I like to do is turn the face down there and apply a little pressure like this until it pops. It's not completely in. Sometimes it's a little bit stubborn and you can see it's not completely in, but this way uh, you're gonna protect your bezel because I hate when the bezel scratches so now I'm gonna take a little bit a book a book so I don't wanna this and you heard that so that's it now we have Seiko SKS
So yeah, here we have uh, Seiko SKS with the correct uh, bezel insert. So yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, if you want to stick around, maybe I will change a band on this one. But we'll leave that for another video. Thank you for watching.